It is 8.15, we're on the go with Joe, and he is learning about a festival that features food, music, even classic Russian cars. It's all part of the Slavic Festival, which celebrates the culture of several European countries. Joe V joins us live from Gateway Park with a closer look. Good morning. Yeah, good good morning, guys. So I'm back once again. It is the annual Portland Slavic Festival. Timor, I'm now uh, decked out, and I've got a number of countries I'm represented here. I have a Ukrainian shirt. Uh, this is an Uzbek. Uh, Chapan. Chapan? Chapan, yes. Okay. Uh, and then we even have a, a Russian car. So the, the Slavic Festival, it represents a number of different countries in Europe, in some cases Central Asia. They have kind of a common link in many cases. So many of them were former Soviet republics or, you know, had a big Russian influence. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about this. Part of your festival, you've got food you've got music but you actually have a car show yes, yes, tell me about these cars the car show is unique it's been part of the festival for quite some time. people love these these are being exported from you know russia or in many cases from canada or cuba where there's still a lot of them so what we have here is a jiguli it's a 1986 version and as you can see this is as luxury as you can get i mean it has a sunroof you yes. saw inside it has a leather interior this was the peak of soviet luxury right this is not the peak this is a peak of soviet luxury for common folks yeah there's yeah. going to be other cars that you know were driven by big city officials yes. you know government kgb agents yeah. but this is for the common people but if you were a regular soviet citizen yep. and you had one of these you were you were doing you're, very well you're yourself. doing very well for yourself exactly well, this is a beautiful car i was just telling you we just took a family vacation i got to spend a couple days in russia i actually saw one of these uh, but it wasn't in nearly this beautiful of condition so this is really incredible to see yeah, it is, and I'm very, very surprised that, you know, it's still in such a great condition. You can even see the little uh, wipers yes. on, the headlights. on the headlights. Wiper and headlights, I love it. There you go, Soviet uh, innovation. Now, of course, you can't have a great cultural celebration without music. Go ahead, let's, let's hit this up. Uh, you're going to have uh, somebody here, they're going to sing us a song, right? What is the name of the song? Uh, well, we, we want uh, the audience to, you know, see if they can remember the song, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, what is the name of the song, though? What do we call it? Uh, Kalinka Malinka. Okay. So we have Anna, Go ahead, Olga, play. and Alex. So gonna play it for us. Kalinka, Malinka, Kalinka, Maya, Sadu Yagada, Kalinka, Malinka, Maya, Oh, Kalinka, Malinka, Kalinka, Maya, Sadu Yagada, Kalinka, Malinka, Maya. Okay, now there's some Americans out there saying, I know this song. Do you know, do you, you anyone recognize that song? Are you, is there more? Are you gonna play the music? Yes. Yeah? Okay, there's some music. Again, the name of the song is one more time. Kalinka Malinka. It's a type of berry. Okay. There you go. So, the event itself, we should mention, the, the Slavic Festival takes place this Sunday, correct? And you were saying you're encouraging people to take public transportation. Yes, we are in a city, so we encourage everybody to take public transportation. Great location. We're literally five minutes away from Gateway Max Stop. There's a 77 bus lane that goes right through the park. Carpool, ride shares, e scoot you guys are not going to... Listen to this. Okay, listen. Yes, Americans, this is a song from Tetris. Every time you play Tetris, you heard that song. You probably didn't know. I certainly didn't. That it's an old Russian folk song. So there you go. It is, yes. I love it. So, Kim, there you go. The Poland Slavic Festival underway this Sunday. And coming up, we're going to give you a flavor of some of the food. And there's a whole lot of it that you can enjoy here at the Slavic Festival that's coming up in just a bit. Back to you. Oh, my gosh, and I bet it's delicious. All right, Joe, thank you.